Doesn't seem to fit your profile, but... No, you definitely don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, such a missed opportunity. I'm sorry, I really think that angle, that plotline would have been so much better. There was so much build-up for it. I only mentioned a few of the clues, and I thought those were pretty good ones. Those already kind of sealed the deal for me. I'm pretty sure there was some other ones that I'm probably forgetting about right now. But, just on the spot here, but... I mean... I don't know. I mean, there's this whole thing, like, this whole talk about Rachel Amber, and how she is connected to the time, and the dough. People, there's a lot of people saying the dough is, like, Rachel's spirit animal. Then people are saying it's Maxis. I don't know. Whatever. But, the whole thing about Rachel and the dough, and then the time travel, and Kate, and apparently it's all connected in some way. There was always that, like, conspiracy speculation with Max and Chloe and stuff. So, I figured, you know, whatever's happening to Rachel and all these people, like... It must have been something to do with Whoa. the time travel, like they were saying. And if Jefferson was involved, Jefferson was the perpetrator behind it all, then he had to have some kind of connection there. Okay. But he doesn't really. No okay, one does. Really. Safe. Except that Doe. And Chloe, I guess, because, you know. Chloe, I. You I know, know, I guess there's speculation. You know, Chloe. Time. Chloe probably caused that butterfly effect to. I mean, Max caused it, but... Well, whatever, I don't know. Because the butterfly flew into the bathroom, and... Then... This sound, I don't know, it sounds like rambling. I just, I'm sorry, it sounds like rambling. I don't know if you're following along, but, like... the You know, the blue butterfly went into the bathroom, and then... Max and they had her powers of Chloe there, and... I'm pretty sure Chloe was that blue butterfly at the end. Oh, right, we didn't... We didn't do that ending. <laughs> But, you know, whatever, spoilers. I mean, there's this is this is a Let's Replay. There's gonna be... I'm just I'm just talking all sorts of shit here, you know, just... I'm not talking shit, necessarily, but I'm... You know, I'm just shooting the shit. You know, because we've been through this. This is not the playthrough to watch if you don't know... If you haven't seen Episode 5 yet, is what I'm saying. And especially if you have not seen the... Is Steve Chloe ending yet, because that's what we'll be I'm doing this time. But I did just kind of talk about it beforehand, and I probably will. So sorry, but yeah, I just take heed with that now. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say too much. So we're almost in San Francisco. This is almost like a. This is almost like not even a, a live commentary, because like I'm basically just talking over while the game's happening. It's, it's kind of like one of those old style commentaries, you know, like Call of Duty and stuff like that. Where they just, when they used to like not do live comms and just talk over the gameplay. I guess they still do that sometimes, but I don't really like those anymore. I don't plan on doing anything like that on my channel, so like not live comms. I mean, I don't know. I find those kind of stupid now. Yeah, well, that's because you're not one. So it's, it's the best compliment you ever get. So bullshit. Why does it show that guy? He looks suspicious. He looks like he's like on. When I was first watching this, I was I was like kind of suspicious of everyone around me. I was kind of like, are one of these guys somehow involved with something? Are they gonna fuck me somehow? I had. I had the paranoia that, like, the plane was gonna crash, or, like, someone was gonna hold this place up and, like, <laughs> gun people down, and... Oh, God. Or, like, open up the airplane door or something, everyone just flies. <laughs> I don't know. And all sorts of things flowing through my head. First time here. Sort of. Very vaguely, but... How did you sleep? Like shit. Sounded kind of like Morgan Freeman there. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. No, to say the most. That's a smart way of telling me this. Because I don't know. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm an idiot. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in 
Yeah, I did not want a black man guiding me, okay? That's not that's not right. I already am and we're not even there. I think we all know who's in the better position here in terms of guiding people. Christ. Another null point? Max You're not just screwing around with time. I'm uh, I'm only gonna insinuate it because otherwise people will call me racist and you know, I just think that's factually incorrect. But, but I'm not going to bother explaining how, because you'll never understand. So, you're just objectively wrong. And there's nothing I or you can do about it. Except think for yourselves. Change your own minds. Yep. Um, the hell's that? What is the point of all these paintings? I don't know, I'm not much of an artsy guy, so like when I see paintings, I see people like talking about, oh, that's so beautiful, that's so amazing. All I ever hear is, oh, that's so beautiful, that's so amazing. I never hear, like, why? I just hear, oh, that's so great. You must think that's great with me, and if you don't, then you're an idiot. So, like, what makes the... What makes the Mona Lisa so special? I guess I should look it up, but I mean, I know it took a long time to make. You can do whatever you want, but I hope you take advantage of your status and talk. It just looks like a picture of a woman to me. Man, I'm not much of a painting guy. I'm not necessarily not an art. Well, I'm not an art guy. I like literature to an extent, but anyway. But just painting specifically and not I much. In of big I guess these are photographs, but what? So I started taking charge of Although they look like paintings. <laughs> ask my poor oh yeah, and I bet they're. I bet you. Are, so you oh, you're saying you're not poor? Uh, get in there and start Come on. You know, I won't we all know by your skin tone that that's not true. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'd be terrified. I mean, look, all these faggots here. Wow, sir Max. Probably trying to grope me. Somehow. Like, I oh, I really like your painting. I'd be like, no, fuck you. My paintings are shit. Or my photographs are shit. Well, God damn it, paintings. They look like paintings. I'm sorry. The game graphics fucking look like paintings. Oh, <laughs> yeah, life is weird. Life is strange, Max. It's, li it's called Life is Strange. You stupid bitch. Oh my god. How did you not get that? Right, we already looked at all those. They're not really important. I don't know if we talked to this bitch last time. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations oh. for your everyday heroes photo. I thought we had dialogue options for her. Max is just like, what? Huh? How could that be? Oh. Alright, just repeat yourself, moron. Hey, Mr. Jefferson. Oh. Okay, again, it's not Mr. Jefferson. Whoops. Got that wrong twice in a row. It's great to read all these comments. Oh, did I not read? He was the main one. <laughs> so inspiring. Not as good as last year's show. Is that really mean? I mean, okay. Totally makes you want to start taking photos. The future photo starts here. Lisa Simpsons. <laughs> what? Simpsons? That's a that's a name. Simpsons. Okay. These heroes chose the path of at least of least regret. Thomas Farber. A great example of total surveillance. Um, their fifteen minutes are almost up. John Doe. <laughs> Thanks, this is so nice. Inspiring stuff. Steve. Steve. Of course Steve has the most generic fucking shit. Generic piece of shit name. The depth of field, the colors. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35mm lens. You can definitely find out those details. The story of a photo if you 
you know how to look at all the details in a picture. Oh, this is so interesting, Matthew. I didn't think you knew about all this. When I was wow, sounds like you have a good marriage. Study. Didn't I tell you about it, Emma? I was quite good at it, actually, but I decided to drop photography. I hate my life. A real paying job. Anyway, it is interesting to be here and your life. <laughs> looks so dumbfounded. They're just like staring at it. There's no way they're they're like what? Uh, Dad, the label says that this is a print from a disposable camera. What are you talking about? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> it was meaning like a disposable camera. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and it contradicts me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Pretentious shit. They're they're just thinking like, they're just thinking like, oh my god, when are we gonna kill him? I'm probably planning to. Don't wor don't worry, I won't I won't tell Soul. I enjoy murder of the third degree. Wait, first degree. Sorry, first degree, first degree, first degree murder is best cool, murder. Max. Smile and don't say anything stupid. Why would you think that here? There's no one in here. Imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. Uh. Well, if you're a noob, it probably takes. If you're a noob, it probably takes a whole day. But if you're a pro like me, it takes like, I don't know, five don't seconds at best. At worst, I should say. Someday. Really, you want to make these? Hmm. Interesting. But what's the point? Is what I'm wondering. This is like the walk of man. Kinda looks like Slender Man. I know, I'll get whatever. I'm not gonna go there. Um, let's see. Woman. Wow, thanks, game. Thanks for telling me that. That looks familiar. This might be too meta metaphoric. Oh, God, Jesus. Those freckles. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? Don't you sound? I didn't get in. Don't you sound just like that other bitch? I forget her. I forget who it is. Oh, who cares? You sound like a bimbo. Let's go take a photo. <laughs> Definitely not of your face. <laughs> Definitely not of your face. We do not want those freckles getting in there. Oh boy. Oh yay, night vision. Okay. Um. Night vision and goggles. Young and grunge. Mm. He'll think about those days for the rest of his life in prison. Max, aren't you like? Aren't you? Aren't you? Okay. Max is being a bitch. Don't you? Don't, it's what I don't get about Max. Like she's she's like the more like soft and caring type. Like wouldn't she prefer to have Jefferson get like I don't know mental health care or something as opposed to just fantasizing about him like getting butt raped in prison? I don't know. Just. You know, it just feels like a little Champion. off character. I know she's like you went through like a freaking traumatic, I guess, experience, but you know, I don't know. You think her her character would still be at least somewhat in place there with Jefferson, not totally altered. So, but, how are you handling? I mean, you know, whatever. I don't, know. I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first. Well, you're not. That's that's why you're not. That's why you don't feel like that way. But you've made us proud great response to your work so far. God, so stupid. Um I'm not lucky, I'm amazing. But that's that's also a bitch. That's also a freaking pussy move. Um I'm lucky, I, I guess. Know. I'm just lucky. There's no way I'm a real photographer. <laughs> Good job, Max. I'm glad you're you got, got a reality check Maybe there. I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave you should. To me. You're a bitch. I I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. That's She's okay. There's not much there's not much people of your kind can do. I mean should put my foot down. I don't expect much from you. It's okay. I'll put my foot in his ass. Hey. This ain't the ghetto anymore, buddy. No more of that talk. I may have to put you down myself. Bust a cap in your bum. That's right. Okay. Uh, Jefferson fooled us. Not your fault. I should have told you. That doesn't sound 
Okay, that doesn't sound... None of these sound like I'm disparaging him. That's not cool. That's not cool. Not your fault. Jefferson fooled us. Okay, I should have told you, I guess. I told you that Nathan brought a gun to school this week. Oh, I guess I didn't. Ah, oh, shit. Whatever. I didn't in this safe file, I guess. Prescott's Kept it a secret, yeah. Because this is my second... This is my second safe file, so this is my second playthrough when I first started playing this game. and Disturbed. That's a band, you know. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under Well, I don't think Nathan actually Prescott killed anyone, right? Years of corruption. Money and power could only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had Yeah, he should have moved to like He should have moved to Wall Street. <laughs> Damn, then he'd be really protected. Let's see. Um Maybe it's karma? I'd like to think there's some karma in No, I, I would no. Prescott's no, Max, you're an idiot. Max, you're an idiot. Max, you're an idiot. That what goes around comes around. Well, you're an idiot too then. I'm sorry. It's all good for a change. I'm hoping <laughs> Okay. So karma basically can fuck you over. Basically can fuck everyone over. So why do you cherish it then or do you not? I don't know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I I mean, if you're hoping it's good, then you're suspecting it might not be. So you're 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 alluding the possibility that karma, which is just fucking everyone over. So why do you like karma so much? Karma sounds like a piece of shit to me. Whatever. Whatever. I'll never understand the logic behind these human, these mere human beings oh, hey, you're who feel and don't think. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects in focus. Oh, very smart. Um, okay, that sounded pretty basic to me. Like, yeah, I, I put focus on my subjects in my photo. Yeah, Photography 101, derp. Oh, yeah, this guy. Well, I have to say. Since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. <laughs> yeah, man. Totally, man. This... These photos just sound like wicked shit. That. Like, my mind was blown, man. Blown. Oh, of course he's looking at this. <laughs> uh, yep, definitely a reflection of our time. Let's see. What is the point of most of this? Ah. Uh, is that a blank? Yeah, I guess it is. Okay. Um, so we got a military dude. Okay, what the hell is that the Navy shit here? Who gives a shit about them? Nobody. Oh, hey, look, it's my piece of shit photo. Oh, hey, that actually looks... Oh, they had to put a fucking grandma and a kid in there? Well, that ruined it. I always get so inspired whenever I come here. Why? Do you like seeing fire? Burn down forests? I mean, I personally like to see fire burn down people. Maybe buildings. Hey, I love your shot. I just wanted to say This is not my nope. Congratulations. This is not my photo. Uh hey. This is actually not my photo. So you're an idiot. Um Yeah, I know that's a little bit shocking to hear. I, I know I can tell by the expression of your face there, but you are an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> like What what can I say? You're an idiot. Like um, you're just dumb. What about Usually this dude? These kind of this makes me feel so sad. Like I was back in high school. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with the assumption that you have Tourette's, but let's Usually try it again. these kind of contests, they, uh, they put me to sleep, but I like how this show is about specific actions, you know, not just abstractions. The Zeitgeist is doing some unique stuff this year. So, showing basic actions of people doing things. That sounds pretty typical. Oh, look at the birds. Oh, look at those birds. Oh, I can't shit on that. But I'll shit on everything else. Like that, look at that. These are fucking stupid photos. Bad framing, bad picture. I could have done this so much better. 
Hey, I actually agree with you mostly, except I don't think he could have done better. He just fucking sucked too. Eat my dick, bitch. Hi, excuse me. You're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm Irish. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. <laughs> I edit their art section, and I totally... You sound really nervous, dude. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something... <laughs> ...about your images, so I I'd love to set up an appointment... Or that or word is played out. Get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. Actually, it wasn't. You suck. You were an... You are an overhyper bitch, and you are an overhyper nerd. And what the hell? What was that about? Like, did she want to? If, if you really cared about me, you would, you would, you would take. You know what? You would set up a, a freaking ten-hour sit-down interview with me, because that's what I deserve. To hear all about me, and my magnificence. And instead, you just give me your card. Huh? Yeah, that's right. I see through you. I see through you. Bitch. Okay, what about you? Um, what do you have to say, me. slut? I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. I've seen a lot <laughs> you can't even- you- so you love my photograph, but you can't even find it. I can't wait you're like- look, you look like you're trying to look around for it. Like, uh, where is it? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna speak some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Fuck you, I see through you, too. <sighs> These people are just too easy. Too, too easy. God, I love art. Hey, don't bring him into this. You must be the everyday He's ain't real. Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. Well, I would like to talk about shooting you in the face. How does that sound? I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Um. I don't know. Aren't they meant to be like public? I mean, oh shit. Sorry, I don't know your name, but I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. Okay, can you explain to me what my entry is? How do you know it was mine? Huh? Why? Why does no one ever want to talk about my entry? They're just like, oh, your entry's so cool. Yeah, don't kiss my ass, bitch. Don't patronize me, sluts. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm in San Francisco. Why aren't you a faggot? After all the death I've seen this week. I wish Chloe was here right now. Without her, I couldn't have fought Jefferson. That's not true. You did that all by yourself. Uh, I mean, I guess in the long term, like, you were kind of fighting Jefferson when you were undercover, when you're uncovering things, I guess. But... But, for whatever reason, I have this power. I hope I finally used it right. You didn't. <laughs> I mean, what is right? I don't know, what is right to you? What does that mean? Things go exactly your way? <laughs> then no, no, it didn't happen. <laughs> I'm sorry. You fucked up. We all make mistakes, but you make too many. Well, sorry, we all make mistakes, but you're just bad. Sorry. But, um, yeah. So I think we finally got into the... Oh my god. We finally... This, that glitch thing is still there, man. I'm noticing it. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is. That bumpy shit. Anyway, we got to the meat of it. We finally got to the meat of this shindig. I feel like I'm probably spending way too much time on this shit. I mean... This may be just as long as the... The blind play. Ooh. Oh no, our nose is bleeding again. Why is it always the bleeding nose? It's always the bleeding nose. Always. It's always the bleeding nose. That's such a cliche in, in time travel in these time travel okay? movies. I swear. That voice. Uh, your nose. 
I wanted to point that out before, but I just didn't think I'd be funny enough. Oh, and I and I didn't want to be mean. I didn't want to be. Oh, come on, please answer. Man, I don't give a shit, my dick. Look, Chloe's dying. <laughs> That's so funny. What? Chloe, no. Chloe, where are you? Why? You're a pussy. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Why would you be scared over that? That's so stupid. Oh my god. God. I mean, you know you're gonna die. What's the point of being scared? <laughs> you're gonna die. No, she's dead. She's dead. Just accept it. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Yeah, think with your brain for a second, Max. See that photo of you in there? Yeah. Why can I do not understand up? Well, that makes two of us, actually. I guess everybody is a photographer now. <laughs> a nice social commentary. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. Do you? Do you really, Max? Well, apparently your shaking face says yes. So. Alright, this shit, all these fucking faggots are gonna. All these pretentious little me, turds are gonna. Ask you a few about your work. Sorry. How about no? Oh, I think if you do this fast enough, it like. I think you do this fast enough, because I've seen people actually get through less people than me. And. But oh, apparently I'm failing now. Okay, kind of they're using the same voice actor for like. Thanks. I literally do not have for like. To oh my god. They're using like, the same voice actor for like different random characters. Who does that sound like? That sounds like Alyssa. That's what it was. The Alyssa voice actor keeps fucking popping up. Then like these random characters. It's so obvious. They sound like so the same, basically. Like, oh my god, Max. What do you mean your nose, dude? That's your nose, not your head. Gosh, so stupid. Breaking apart. Oh. What am I doing to time? Oh, especially later on. Oh, we'll talk about that later on. I have a theory for that. A theory that might not be. My previous timeline was so perfect. I'll accept that I need to be in Arcadia Bay. A theory that might be flawed, but. I'll probably talk about it later. I, just have to make I don't know if I'll see it for the credit, the so credits, the credits, the credits. I don't know if I'll see it for the credits, but Cause that's a lot. That's a lot of time to talk about it. But... Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. I don't know. Every time they see San Francisco, that that always bothers me for some reason. It just sounds so stupid. I don't know. I couldn't stand them. Couldn't stand hearing them say that. I don't know. San Francisco is just a shitty name. Well, okay, it's not a shitty name, but I don't know, whatever, who cares. It just sounds, I don't know, it just sounds stupid to hear them say it over and over. So dramatically. Oh, it's just me anyway. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh great, he's dressing up to rape me. Okay, here we go. 